Welcome to part 2 of recording through a Line 6 pocket path. Uh, the last video I did, I did a recording video of how I did it through a desktop. And many people ask me how to do it on a laptop because they don't have a line in uh, on their system. Uh, so I brought an old laptop, it uh, doesn't have a line in as well. I'm just going to try to use the microphone input. And uh, I haven't done it on this particular laptop before, but we'll make it work somehow. So uh, let's take a closer look and we'll see what happens. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is plug your AC adapter into the line 6, into the pocket pod. And then the second thing you will need uh, is a, a AUX cable, which has two of these. And this is a stereo one. And it will, should do the trick. So let's plug uh, one of the ends into the direct out phones on the back of your line 6. Uh, a guitar cable, which is also handy, put it in the guitar in, and then it should fire up, as you can see. Alright, so, now we're going to put the other end uh, of our AUX cable into the microphone input. Uh, I also hooked up um, the speakers from my desktop to my uh, laptop, so... All right, so it's plugged in. Um, I will grab a guitar and we'll see what happens next. Okay, so I opened uh, Music Maker 2013, um, which I installed on this laptop for this video. And um, I didn't get any sound because uh, one of the tabs you need to push first is uh, you have to open your uh, microphone settings, which in this case was under this tab, right click this is Windows Vista I believe, yes um, but it's probably the same on uh, on the later operating systems so here you will see uh, your volume mixer and uh, all sort of different uh, devices and you have to go to uh, uh, recording and then another tab will come up and this laptop is very slow so excuse me and yep <laughs> there we go okay so you will go to um, you will find this tab which shows your microphone uh, then you'll go to uh, you will click that microphone and you go to uh, settings of that uh, device then you will have uh, three tabs, which is uh, your basic one, and then the, uh, the listening options, levels, and advanced, uh, which means uh, for your sampling and how many bits. Uh, what you want to do is go to the listen uh, tab, and it will see here you have a box, and it will ask uh, you if you want to listen to the device that you have plugged in. So now it will not work. But when I will click this button, it will work. Uh, it still has latency and I tried and it's, I think it's almost impossible uh, to get rid of the latency. It's not that much. Uh, it does help, and but it will only make it a little bit better. If you go back to that tab and then uh, you will go to the levels. Uh, the lower the level is, the less latency you will have, but it does not do wonders. Okay, but anyway, so it does work. Um, as you can see here, uh, when I push the record button, that it will show the volume on the left and right uh, mix. So what I can do is I can uh, push the record button and then I will play something alright stop, keep the take and yeah So yeah, it does work. Um, 
but the latency problem is really a big issue and I think the only way to resolve that problem is to maybe use a, um, some kind of interface or something like a USB interface that uh, where you can uh, adjust the latency settings um, putting the volume down does work a little bit but it doesn't do any wonders so um, maybe one advice I can give you if you want to uh, use this way of recording maybe just uncheck the box like first you listen to your sound that comes from the speakers if you're okay with the sound uncheck the box play your song but then you have to play it like acoustically and then when you're done you will uh, hear how it sounded sounds like um, so yeah it's not the best way to do it I think but it does work and I cannot get rid of the latency problem so uh, well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful, and if you have any questions you can put uh, a comment, of course, in the comment section. And the link to the other video where I, where I did a recording to uh, my desktop with Line In, which has no latency issues, um, I'll put it in the description. So, thank you guys for watching and have a good one.